So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, these buttons here. So I've got a home page. When I scroll my mouse over the home button, it changes its color. It's got an underline for the word home. If I move my mouse over to the about button, again, changes color. Uh, I click on that, and it takes me to the about page. And then on the about page, I can click on home, and it takes me back. So that's what we're going to do. And in order to do that, we're going to end up creating two uh, HTML documents, one called about and one called index. Now then, to start with, I'm just going to work backwards. So what I'm going to do is, in here, I'm actually going to delete um, some of this code so that I can show you from scratch. So bear with me. This is the code that you will need, but I'm just going to delete it for now. And we'll start from the very beginning. So just save that and get rid of that. Save that. And then in here, I'm going to just delete this about page. So I'm starting from the very scratch. So all you should have at this minute, if you want to walk through this video tutorial, is a page. Um, if I just hit refresh, this is my home page. So you can see here in my sublime text, I've got the basic HTML. I've got a link in my head that links to the CSS style sheet, which I've got open here. And all I've got here is some very simple uh, styles to make this word home appear and the background image appear. So what I need to do um, is this. Inside my CSS, there's a piece of CSS that you need to write to coordinate the colors for hyperlinks. All right, and it goes like this. This is how it's um, coded. You go A, and A stands for a ahref. Yep, so the A element in your HTML allows you to create an anchor. And an anchor is simply a link to another page. OK, now then, the anchor has four states. You'll understand what I mean in a minute. The anchor has four states. So it has um, a link, a hover, um, oops, sorry, a hover, a active, active, and a visited. Now, basically, all this means is there are four states to each uh, button. Uh, the A link is what you want the button to look like when people go onto the page and they see a hyperlink. The A hover is what you want the button to look like when someone moves their mouse over that hyperlink. The A active is what you want it to look like when someone clicks on that button. And the A visited is what you want it to look like when they've already been to that web page. So normally, a hyperlink is blue. When, when, it's, um, when it's a hyperlink on a page. When you move your mouse over it, it's still blue, but it has an underline. Yep, but that's the hover. An active is still blue and underlined, and a visited is blue uh, is purple. Yep, that's the standard colors for, for a hyperlink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, right, well, I want my link colors. I want my link colors to be... I want my link colors to be um, background color. I'm going to have my link colors as this background color. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it in there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a background color. So I'm going to have a background color for my buttons, and that's going to be this color here. So all you can see at the minute, all I've done at the minute, is I've just had the A link, I've set it a color, and a background color. Now then, if I just save this for now and go into my index.html, what I then need to, is to do is use that CSS style. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put a new P tag in for a new paragraph, and then I'm going to use that A uh, style. So I'm going to go A. So I'm now picking up that style that I've just applied, because here is where I've styled that A element. And I'm going to go A href equals, and this is just creating a hyperlink, so I'm just going to say about.html. That means when I click on whatever word is about to appear here, take me to the about.html page, which I haven't yet created, Yep, but I'm going to in a minute. So the word will be the word about, like that, and then I close that A tag, like that, and then I close the P um, tag as well. So all I've done here is I've created um, a word that says about, I've set that word to be a hyperlink here, and I've put it in a p tag. 
Now, because I've styled the A link in my CSS here, if I save both of these files, go in here and hit refresh, I now have um, a background color and I have um, of the orange that I applied and the text is this gray here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of other things in the style.css. And those other things that I'm going to do are as follows. I am going to take the underline off. So that is a property called text decoration. And I'm going to set it to none. Now what that will do is when I press save and hit refresh here, it's now taking the underline off. Yep. Now, another thing that I want to do is I want to change the font. Now, what I could do is I could change the font in every single one of these, this, whoops, sorry, this, 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 etc. And I could write font family in every one. Yeah, but what I'm going to do instead is this. I'm going to say for every A element that you see here, I'm just going to set its font family, whoops, font family to Arial. So now what I've done is I've got all of the states of the A are listed here. But every time it sees an A, it will have this attribute as well. Yeah. So it will all be Arial. So if I save this, go back in here and hit refresh, it's now on Arial. What I also want is I want some space between the letters and the edge of the, the actual background. So inside this A element here, I'm also going to put padding. And then this is going to be how much space you want between the edge of that box and the letters. So if I go for something like three pixels, save it, hit refresh, and now I've got some space around it. Yep. Now again, at the minute, look, if I move my mouse over this, nothing's happening. In terms of it knows it's a hyperlink, but it hasn't changed any of its style. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to copy all of this, paste it to the hover state, and then just change some of the attributes. So what I'm going to do instead is when you hover over it, I'm going to swap these colors. So the background will become gray, and the, for, and the text will become orange. So if I save that, hit refresh. So the A link is a color gray, background orange. But when I hover over it, its color it, uh, changes to orange, and the background changes to gray. So let's see whether that works. Yep, like that. Now then, what I want to do next is I want to change the active state, which is when I click on it, what do I want to do? So let's just have a look what this will do. If I copy this, paste it, let's just change the background for an example, FFCC55. I have no idea what that color is. In fact, let's just go for a, a red, FF. Now I know that when I click on this now, it should be red, ah. Now then, it's not picking that up, so don't worry about that. I'm going to leave that there for now. It's because I haven't created the About page yet. So what I'm going to do is, again, is copy this, go to the Visited, save that. So at the minute, I've got the same state for Hover, Active, and Visited. I'm just going to change them. I want the only one to be different is I want the Hover one to be different. Right, so all states are the same apart from Hover. Oh, no, they're not. If I save this, uh, color, background, link, active. Ah, now then. Can anybody tell me why I'm hovering over this and it's not working? Ethan. Have you not saved it I know, I have saved it actually. I've refreshed the page. I think it's because I've visited it. I've clicked on it like this, and now I go back, I've visited it. And I've given all visited sites uh, this, this style here. Yeah, so if I change that to the, let's just see, if I change the background to FF, hit refresh now, yeah, so it's picking up the visited um, style of, of that button. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go back into my index.html, watch this, I'm now going to copy this page. I'm going to go file, save as, and I'm going to save it as about. So I'm now saving this exact code, but I'm saving it as about.html. Press save. So about.html is now open. If I go in here, I now have that about page, and the index page. I'm going to open up both of them. Like this. So these two pages here are exactly the same. Yep. 
Now then, on my About page, I want a Home button as well. So I'm going to copy this, paste it, and this is going to say Home. This is going to say Home. Oh, no. Is this going to say Home? What's it going to say? Good lad. Index.html. Save that. Right. Copy this. I'm going to paste this into my index.html. So now, on my index.html, I should have a button that says Home, and I should have a button that says About. And exactly the same on my About page. I should have a button that says Home, and a button that says About. Save both of them. Go back in here. Hit refresh. Now I have two buttons here. I'm just going to take those styles off because that looks silly. So if I just say the link, take this, take it to this, save. Okay. Now then, there's something I don't like about that. I'm going to take this visited style off. There we go. If I take the visited style off, that works better because I don't want it to always just stay like that. I want them to know that it's a button. So when I have the about, I click on it and I'm actually on the about page. But what I need to change is on this about page here, I probably should just change this heading so it says about. Hit refresh. Now I'm on the about page. When I click on home, it goes to home. When I click on about, it goes to about. All right.